Hi guys, Pop Pops here, and today we're going to be doing an updated version of my mom's vinyl collection. So let's get started. Okay guys, so how many mom do you think you have? It's like 30 something. I think I have 36. Okay, now I also think, I'm going to go out and say this, I believe this is the biggest vinyl collection in the world because I don't know who's crazy enough to collect all of these ones. That's very kind of Well, the thing is, that. is that really nice. I like them and I have like two or three of them, but then I gave them all to you because you seem super interested in them. I am. Um, now, I think we should also be starting with your first one here. Now, what we're going to be doing, guys, is not doing close-ups on all of them no. because that's too many, but too what we'll do is time. maybe pick out some of her favorites and then we'll do like a pan by it's them. It's hard so. because I like them all. Yeah, so we'll pick out a couple of them that are really the top ones. Now, I want to grab the one that was her first vinyl and one of the most expensive vinyls. Um, I, now, do you think you started... Most, oh, yes, 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 yes. Do you think you started collecting because it was expensive no. or because you really liked no. the set? We were there and we had the opportunity to get it, so I did. And I didn't really realize that it might be expensive later. That right. Wasn't, and and it's a, I do know this this story. I do know these two. I Strange know it was a movie. I know it was there it was on TV. And so um it wasn't weird for me to get it. Some of them I won't get because I don't I don't know the story. Well, I feel like maybe if it gets down to it where it's like she's trying to get all of them and yeah. then maybe the Fallout one is left over or something yeah. like that. We'll pick it up. Right. I like Fallout, um but it's not her favorite. No. So And I and I I don't care if you don't know the story. You're welcome to go to the store and buy any ones you want. We really hear that a lot. Oh, you don't know anything about it. You don't deserve to buy it. Disagree. Disagree. If you, like you them, have money and you're standing at the cash register and you want to buy something, you're allowed to buy it. It doesn't matter if you know the history of it or the whole story. Well, you don't have to. It's also if you like it or not. If too, you right? like, like it, if, if you it like what it looks happy. like. I mean. If it makes you happy, you should get it. And so I like this one. This was my first one and I didn't realize when I bought it that it would make me buy other ones. No. I'm gonna call it a gateway. It was a gateway. Because right. Of, because of this, then the gate was open. And it is a limited pieces. Do you it see is, how many it's right. limited to? No. I believe it's a thousand. A thousand pieces, guys. So you can, there's only a thousand of these out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, and this was for Toronto Fan Expo. And it's very Canadian. It's a very, it was a good idea for them to make this because it's extremely Canadian. So if they were bringing it to the Canadian Fan Expo, True. it makes sense. Uh, so that's our first one. It is Bob and Doug McKenzie in Strange Brew. Strange Brew. Okay. Okay, guys. So next up, we have this one is Dustin and Lucas from right. Stranger Things. Right. Um, this one is neat. Yep. I, like this I picked one. this up. I now, you guys can't be mad at me, but sometimes I might not remember where I got them all. I think Target was this one. Mm, I think it was on sale. Or it could have been EB Games. It was a deal. So and I love um, the show. Right, we've seen both seasons. We're excited about the third season. Yeah, we like Stranger Things. And so I knew the characters, and I know that they're cute in the story. I like it. I really liked his hat. I liked how this looks. Both characters are sweet. They look like the real people. So that was an easy one for me. Yeah, I like Gaten Maserato on Drop the Mic, too. That was fun. Yeah, so that's a great one. And I, I don't know if you guys have seen the back of each of these, but they're also oh, true. very interesting. So instead of just like on Pops, Pops have like maybe a photo of the character. And other or, ones in the set, or say. Yeah, other ones in the set. But mm -hmm. this one, they put the actual... Here, let me do a little closer. Not one. always. Bob they, and Doug Most McKenzie. of the time, we'll put photos of the actual figures or the actual characters in the show. Bob and Doug McKenzie, they the just back. put the characters, which was kind of interesting too. I don't know. They don't always Maybe do that. that was an earlier one. So I don't know if they did it for all of the earlier yeah, ones. Yeah, we'll have to but, see. Uh, yeah, but it's neat to see that so you get an idea of where they're from. Yeah. And so the reason we love vinyls or I love vinyls is because you get two and I like that that they're like always kind of like a friend combo I also like that I know you like the way pops look and I yeah. do too but I like that these are a little bit different that they still have the larger head which keeps them whimsical True. and fun but they have different eyes and different sort of different expressions with that I guess you could say they're closer to the actual character in they the are. shows because they don't have black eyes and right. no mouth they usually have a mouth they're kind of like Ex they have more um, expression to them, I guess True. you could say. They're different. They're more unusual. Yeah. Each one does not look the same. Okay, next up we have Pennywise and Georgie. Right. And again, if you've watched our first video on the collection, this was a good memory for me because I read the book, dropped it in the bathtub. So um, I like this one. I like the story. I like the movie. I like the book. And so it was easy for me as well. So it's, And again, I like because it's a scary movie, but it's, it's a fun so they character. Made them kind it doesn't of look scary. Characters. I don't think it looks scary, right? No, not, it's not that The bad. back oh, does look a little bit scary though. So they do have the photos again here and these are later on ones I guess you could say. I'm still trying to mm -hmm. figure out if they started doing this later on or if that's how they always did them. So it's a cute one. Oh, but yeah, sure. still really neat. Yeah. That's next, number three. Next up guys we have... Wait. 
Wreck It Ralph, Wreck -It -Ralph and, Vanellope. and Vanellope. And Tristan got me this one one day at EB Games. So yeah, we went to the dollar and... store, and you and Noah walked over from there, and you got that for me for a surprise. I'm not even sure I knew it was out when you got it for me, so it was like it was I was the first very time we had surprised. Seen it. Yeah, it was. I was very surprised. I really, really like this one. I, I love Vanellope, and I love Wreck It Ralph. It's a great movie. Well, I also like that they make them size. Like the different sizes. I so Wreck It Ralph and Vanellope are kind of like those would be the sizes they are in the movie. I agree that they try. Sometimes I'm sure that the, the scale is off, that. but they certainly try to make them look like the size that they would be without yeah, for sure. giving you too small of a Vanellope. Like oh my goodness. Yeah, right? then it's just one figure and it doesn't yeah. so great. But yeah, this is a good size I think. And we've them. talked before about the boxes and how I love the colors of the boxes and how the boxes match what's inside. Mm. I also love the background. There's always a super cute background. And I was uh, talking about it with someone today. I love how all of these products, you can take them out of the box very gently. You can take pictures with them, do whatever you want, and then put them back in the box. Some toys you can't do that. Some toys, you, once you open it, you've had to rip something off the front right. and it never goes back to... Um, like the same again. Well, that's kind of the way with everything with Funko, mm -hmm. except for their Savage World figures, because those are supposed to be like older, older school toys. Yeah. And yeah. then also Mystery Minis, because you have to take them out of the blind right. bag. But, but I do love this. And they are worth, Mystery Minis are worth the same out of the blind bag, too, so that's why it's all right. It's okay. Here we go. Here, guys, we've got okay. Yukon Cornelius and Bumble. Now, love this one because we love Christmas movies. This one was Tristan's, and he gave it to me, I believe. Yeah, I did. And there is only one sadness about this one, but I will forgive Funko 1,000%. That when you're trying to line up the boxes, this box is <laughs> larger, taller. but it needs to be taller. Like that bumble's huge. I don't want that bumble to be small. Yukon Cornelius True. is also huge. So they have to be in a bigger box. So I'm going to say, even though it doesn't line up, I still love it very, very much. Again, look at the beautiful color on the box. It's so well thought of. Inside, you can see the stripes and it matches and it's just so sweet. It is neat. I like this one. I, I'm, I'm glad they made the Bumble bigger as well because I think if they made them yeah. smaller to be no. like Wreck-It Ralph size, yeah. it wouldn't have been great. They no. could have even done Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope this way too. Um, you need but yeah, it to still be, it needed neat. to be like this. This, I, I, quote me if I'm wrong, but this might be the only really tall one. I don't mm. know. I don't have another really tall one, I don't think. I think at the moment it is, yeah. All right. I wonder if they were going to change up the box sizes for like more I don't of know. Them. It's a good question. I'd like to know the answer to that. Anyways, next up we have the next one from that set, which uh -huh. is these two. Rudolph. And Hermie. And Hermie. Again, great movie. I want to be a dentist. Great characters. We love Christmas things, right? We love them. And again, with the great colors of the box and the pictures on the back. This is one of the better sets, too. I like the two that they put together. This is a fairly newer one, right? This came out at around Christmas. Yeah. So someone asked me what my favorite character was of 2018 on my Instagram, and I haven't answered yet because I'm not sure. Are you trying to plug not your, because wait, I'm are you, are you trying to plug your Instagram? Oh yeah, that's true. I do have an at Instagram. top vinyls link in the description. Yes. So I, I'm not ignoring your question. I'm, I don't know which one's my favorite because sometimes I don't know what year they came out either. So to say the year of 2018, that's kind of specific. Right. So I don't know. Do these tell the year? They, like, like pops do? I don't know if they do on the mm, bottom, but some know. if you check the I bottom of their feet, it, right? it should. And uh, it Pop out. Price Guide has it all on there, so if you want right. to go that way too. And I do have a Stashpedia. Yeah, but Stashpedia doesn't have these guys. Okay, on got it. So Stashpedia. Oh, what do I have? You got me. Something. I got you a Pop Price oh, Guide. Pop Price you guys can yes. check her out at Top Vinyls on Pop Price Guide as well. Yeah. I, I took the name before no anybody. We put all there. the vinyls on there. Okay. okay, what's next? Let's see what we got next. Next up, ooh, you like this one. This one was given to us in the fan mail. I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. Dig oh, and yes. Tony the Tiger. How nice. So a lady sent me this after she saw the first video. She must have mailed yeah. it like that day. I swear it was that day. Came from England. Mm -hmm. She mailed it all the way. Super sweet from Amazon. And it is the, it's a, it's an ad icon, would you call it? Yeah, this is an ad icon, right? I would say. And, and the neat part about it is it is Digum from Honey Smacks and... Um, Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Two great cereals that I would have eaten for sure. And it's a great memory. Again, the box, the color is, is so beautiful. It reminds me of an old school... Um, Cereal box? No, it reminds me of the, the box of um, those things. Lifesavers. Oh, yeah. Lifesavers box. And so the colors are beautiful. Well, also, if you guys haven't noticed, they split the colors down the middle. And you can yeah. see it on the back better. Here, see? flip it around so they yeah. can show it off. For the two different um, things. We've talked about this before. The uh, Honey Smacks on this side has one color when Tony yeah. the Tiger has his yeah. colors on that side. Yeah. I think that's really neat as well. Yeah. 
So this one's super special because A, it was sent by a fan, and that's my first fan mail, I think. I believe like, so. Actual, like fan I mean, vinyl mail. Yeah, first mail. I think came. you've gotten stuff from other people it's as true. well. But. And I was just so pleased because I had mentioned that I wanted it, and it was a Target exclusive, so sometimes those are hard for us to get. Yeah. We can't always find those. And I, I read someone else said something about vinyls on Instagram. They said, sometimes it's good to get vinyls, like you may have tried for the pop version of it, and you weren't able true. to get it, and this might be another alternative for you that's not super duper... Expensive. And I think they are close enough that you can say, that, oh yeah, like they're not so far off that it's like some big, you know, six inch figure. No. It's about no, a three it's inch cute. vinyl, so it's yeah. And again, it's they close come enough. with a friend, so that's yeah, fun. that's neat. Love it, love that one. And next up, we have one that's its own. Um, I believe this is the only set with three in it, and yes. we've got this right. one right here. Right. And we've talked about this in the last video that this was the first one I ever saw and I wanted it. Right. But I it's before I bought the one at uh, Fan Expo, so I just it didn't seem like I had a reason to buy it, so I looked at it and looked at it and looked at it and then it f eventually went away from the store. And then after I got the Bob and Doug McKenzie, I was like, "Oh, Maybe I'm going to start to collect these, yeah. maybe. So I went online and was able to get it for a really good deal. I think maybe $10-ish, right? And these ones aren't that bad. You can get these stuff, uh, mm -hmm. these ones for mm -hmm. yeah. relatively cheap. Like the even... most you might have to pay is $20 for the regular For, for the these. regular ones? Mm -hmm. And yeah. the, like for the most expensive Sometimes one 10. ever, guys, it's Bob and Doug McKenzie for 45 Yeah. So if you think of Pops going up to like tens of thousands yes. of dollars, yes. now this, this one's literally just 45 bucks, and you can get yeah. everything. And I like that you get the friend again. And so you'll see yeah. on the back the pictures as well. Again, guys, this is the only one that has, has a little three, figures. three in it, which I love. And then, if we're saying what's coming, we're also yeah. really excited because ECCC has the, the next part. Did I say that right? Yeah, it's the, okay. it's it's the, the next this, part of this Kind of set. like how there's the um, the ones for the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. There's going to be right. two Right, there's going to be sets. another box. So, and it's going to have in the um, lion, lion and the Tin Man. Yes. So then you'll have her... The dog, and you'll have all. That's perfect because then that's everybody. Really? Well, from yeah. the main yeah, line anyway. And so that's going to be super cool. I'm going to want that. So that's a Barnes and Noble slash ECCC. Yeah. Exclusive. So I kind of convinced her maybe to go out to Barnes and Noble that day because of that pop. We'll see. So that'll be fun. We'll see. If you guys want a big ECCC hunt, let me know. We'll put that in the comments. Yes, but this is again the first one I really love. Okay. Next up, we have Panthro and Chitara. This is be a long video. Now Cats. this one. Hmm. I bought I bought you this one. Now what happened he did. was he did. they had a bunch of them on sale at yeah. e e e e B Games. games. Yeah. I think it was like Which is like GameStop if you don't know. I think it was like six or seven dollars for cheap. them and I got that one and I got a couple others. I'll mention them when we get to them. Yeah. And I have to say, I don't know this I don't know this comic or whatever it is. Is it a cartoon? It's a, it's a cartoon show, yeah. I don't know it, but I love them. They're so interesting looking. They're super cute. I love the characters, I love the box. There's no reason why I wouldn't want them. I don't know anything about them, but again, doesn't mean I can't have them. And it doesn't in my say we, it doesn't say we can't look into them either. Like um, no, for sure. And if you are a completionist, like kind of like you are, we you, are semi-completionist. We are up for grabs um, on that. You're gonna get stuff that you don't 100 percent know, no, but about, you can dig into like it and see what it. else yep. there is about again. them. So I'm not sad to have it. It wouldn't be my first choice, but again, I'm not sad to have it. And there's nothing. No, it's a neat set too. Yeah, and there you can see the back. There's the back as well. Yeah. Uh, let me grab and the next if one you here. wanted this one, it's probably going to be pretty reasonable if you're looking. I would say so. Yeah, you yeah. could probably find it for ten bucks if you really right. wanted to. Ooh, next up, Good. we have the New York Comic Con Gremlins. Ooh, this is a nice one. So this is one of the first ones I got because I got Bob and Doug right. McKenzie at the end of August, and then I got this one in October. True. At New York Comic Con. You guys can tell by the New York Comic Con sticker. You can. And this one, I love. I love the Gremlins. I love 3D retro glasses. This was a no-brainer for me. It's super cute. And the fact that it was from a convention is nice. I mean, that's fantastic. It means more to other people than it does to me. Right. I'm not really into the stickers, but great that it has one. I guess that's wonderful. And I, I just love this one. I also do want the other one, though. I do want the other two Gremlins. Yeah, we haven't picked that up The one with, yet. like, the bad Gremlin and then the cute well, Gremlins. Well, it's the same Gremlins, just without the 3D glasses. Oh. No, I think the other guy might have had a mohawk or something. Oh. He has something different. He was a maybe. We'd have to look yeah. into that. But I would want that. It's on my list, but I'll just watch for it to, you know, go on sale. Yeah. And it will. Um, also, and I will it's, get it. it's a cool memory because we went to New York Comic Con that yes. year. So you picking that up at New York yeah. Comic Con yeah. is a cool... I'm a big souvenir fan that way. Like, if you just get one notice. one item, then you get to remember that trip by. And it was yeah, a really super sure. fun trip that we had. Never been to New York Comic Con again uh, before, and it was really fun. It was so. the first year, and it was fun. Too. It was so fun. So that was a good memory. Good we have, point. We have another Christmas one. Good point. This is mm. uh, Heat Miser and oh, Snow Miser. Oh, gosh. This one, again, from the year without a Santa Claus. Great 
Great movie, and I love that song. I won't sing it for you because that would be embarrassing, but it is a mm. great song. And the funniest part about this one is I love the box. I love how one side is hot and one side is cold. But the funny part is, I don't know if you can see it, but like Snow, is it Snow Miser? His nose is completely poking on the box because it is so long, which is hilarious. Yeah. And again, I like the sizes. The, everything about this one is so sweet. There you can see the back with the movie. One thing that I had to say was that, did you notice that normally it's Heat Miser, Snow Miser, but then on the back it switches from snow, they flip the sides, so right. it's kind of an odd, yeah. uh, well, that's like true. they're kind they of did. like mixing together, like they're yeah. like Heat Miser, Snow Miser, Snow Miser, Heat Miser. Yeah. I and this one, funny. I feel like I got it on Amazon. And it was middle of the road. Not this one is cheap. one of the more expensive ones now too, like okay. because the pops are worth a lot. Mm -hmm. These ones went up in price now, which right. I, it's not too expensive, probably thirty bucks, but that's still pretty expensive for a vinyl. For a vinyls, so. yeah. But again, love them, and it's a great way to get things like memories. Like this is a great show we used to love to watch. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, this one's one that you know more about than I do, but it's Miami Vice. Yes. We've got Crockett and Tubbs. Right, Crockett and Tubbs. So we talked about this one in our last video, so I won't say too much about it, just that it was a show in the 80s that I used to watch every week. It was a great show. We It's funny that we were on Instagram before we went to Target one Friday, right. and I was like, oh my gosh, look, they're going to have this one, the Miami Vice. I'm going to have to look for that. And then didn't we just go to Target, and they absolutely had it right on the Yeah, they had a couple there. of them, too. So I was like, oh, I'm getting that one. No disputing, no waiting for it to go on sale. I'm just getting it. And so it's really cute. Well, this one was a little bit easier to get than the Tony the Tiger and Diggum. We tried oh, yeah, for that one that for a long just, time. But maybe we would just weren't into them the week that they had them. I do team, think so. Because they were out before I started collecting them. Yeah, but so, this was cool because we got to go there that week. This was yeah. Target Con, guys. Target Con 1, but now Target Con 2 will be this Friday, so that's exciting. That's so we'll exciting, be doing something yeah. there too. So great colors. The box is very 80s. Their outfits are very 80s. Yeah, I also like how they did the black and white on the back instead of the color. That's neat as yeah, well. Great show. Yeah. So again, love it. Let's see. Aha, let's do this one here, guys. This okay. one we have Lilo and Stitch. Okay, so this is a newer one. So you did not see this in the last video. I picked no. this one up at Sunrise Records on Valentine's Day. I got this. So we went, yes, to, we went, uh, we were out and we went to the mall for a bit. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't forget to buy that one. And then when we went, they only had this one. one left. And before they had had more. Maybe, maybe two three or three. Or, yeah, not that many. But I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's there. I know it's there. And then we went back and there was only one. So I was like, okay, I got to get this today. Right. And this was not cheap. I paid a lot for this, like $25. I think so. Yeah, because it was one of the more yeah. expensive ones. But yeah. it's still a really neat set. I, I'm in love with it. And so we've only ever seen it at that store. I never saw it anywhere else. Probably I could get it online. No, true. I don't think I, maybe Box Lunch would have it, but yeah, that's the only I other place I could Yeah, I don't it. know. So I was like, I'm, I'm not going to let that one go. Now this is another one where they don't have the, the show on the box. Right. Um, now so I don't I know. Maybe if there's a rhyme or reason I to feel that. like maybe feel they like there can't get it for everything or maybe you're, you have to have a certain Honestly, agreement to put it on the back because to know that. certain ones don't have it and I'm it's pretty weird. sure they and want to put all of it. I don't know the rhyme or reason to it, right? No, I don't know either. But it's a great one. Again, the colors of the box and I love Lilo and Stitch. Love them. Tristan, when he was little, used to have an entire Stitch collection. His room was all surfboardy. Well, like when we go to Disney cool. every once in a while, I used to try and get whatever I can stitch. Every stitch. He had a stitch okay. hat, it was signed. And a little stitch, stitch with stitch. a skateboard. Everything stitch. Mm -hmm. So that's a good one for us too. Yeah, neat. Cool. Uh, here's another ad icon set. One one of my favorites, personally. I don't know what it is. We have oh, Captain yes. Crunch and Now did you make John me get this one? You made me order this. I bought this. You bought this for me? I bought this myself. Because I wanted the Captain Crunch. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so this would have come out at the Funko Shop. So you ordered it from mm -hmm. the Funko Shop, which is a great one. Uh, again, we love ad icons just because they remind us of cereal and things that we used to do, right? Eat things. And so cereal. It's, it's cereal, yeah, in this case. Not always cereal, though, right? Ad icons are uh, always No, there's like, you know, like Domino's things. and Twinkies right. and, you know, Ding Dongs kind of stuff and, and stuff like Colonel that. Colonel Sanders? Or? Yeah, Colonel Sanders. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a nice one. Uh, did we show this at the last uh, video? I believe we did. I believe we did, yeah. And this one, again, has the pictures on the back. So that's great. Great detail. Yeah, I like the pictures. Lots of detail and lots of expression, for sure. So we love that one. That one might still be on the Funko Shop. Did you notice this? There's no John LaFoot on the back. That's strange. It's both. Just Captain Crunch on both. But yeah, I think this one might still be on the Funko Shop. Mm, mm, it's close. I don't know. There are lots of them still on the there Funko are. Shop. If you're looking for them, they're on the Funko Shop. And I think Shop. they're like 10 to $15 if you want to buy them. Yes. The convention Most of them are 15 ones are 20 I think. Yeah. So yeah. not too expensive. No. Nope. What do we got here? Oh, here's another Funko Shop one. Which one? We have Park Rangers <gasps> oh, Smith. This and one we love. 
Yogi Bear. L O V E. I believe I bought this one. You made me the one time they were having yeah, they, a sale. They had a big sale. A sale, and so you said, "Mom, you should get blah blah blah." So I ordered this yeah. one. This was one of the ones. Again, love Yogi Bear. I told you when I was in grade six, I was Yogi Bear for Halloween. Hmm. Super cool costume, and I always love the Yogi Bear cartoons. He's yeah. very funny. And this great is set. again a great set. Very well done. And if you look in the cartoon, they were about the same size. They were about the same height, and yeah. they are as these as well. I like that, yeah. It's, yeah. Good. it's good to kind of base it off of what it was in the cartoon as well. And they yeah. didn't make Yogi Bear so much bigger. Yeah, and the box looks very, you know, outdoorsy. So it's a winner, winner, winner. Did nobody ever comment on about how Yogi Bear stood on two feet? Mm, well, bears can walk like that, too. Yeah, but not forever. Well, you know. Anyway. He also stole picnic baskets. He like, you want to grab a picnic basket? That's one? super <gasps> accurate. I think at the end, we should also talk about vinyl sets that we want to see, because I have a couple. Yes, I, I do as well. Okay, here, guys, next up, we have the DC Bombshells, uh -huh. Batgirl, and This Wonder one Woman. I just got before we went to yes. New York Toy Fair. We got it at Box Lunch. No. No. Geek. GameStop. Think Geek. Think Geek. Think Geek. Think Geek. Got it, Think Geek. And I really love this, this one, one again. So we have Wonder Woman and Batgirl. It's a new one. Uh, for me, I know it's not that new, but it's, it's a new one new, for me. But you did get it really cheap. I did get it for a deal, around ten dollars, and uh, I love it because I, I just love the box. I love how it's um, a bombshell, those girls, and then look at the gold inside. Like they, they, every detail, nothing is missed on these. Like I just feel like they're these hidden gems that people haven't really figured it out. Like they're just so well thought of, and the box is beautiful, and you can see it's got like it's a got the gold foil on it too it. for the back. Too. Yeah, I just love it. Here, tilt I it up and down so you can show that up. Look at Wonder Woman's hair, like. It's ridiculous. Can you guys see that? There's like that gold foil kind of color. Yeah. And the vinyl on the box is shiny. Like yeah. they have like a they're a nicer, um, kind of like thicker cardboard. Thicker for the cardboard box, as well. box too. Like win, 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 win. And again, ten dollars for two. So and only five dollars more than pops, really. Right. And you get two, so it's not like you have to go look for the other one. Oh, I no. hope I can get them the other one, you know. They're there. Okay. Uh, here's one of your favorite sets. I would say this is one of my favorite I say that sets. about every set. No, but you're so actually be ready gonna, for that. I think this is okay. your actually right. set. Okay. It's maybe right. even okay. your favorite set. All right. mm -hmm. Mickey and Minnie. <gasps> oh, yeah, Mickey and Minnie. So again, I think I got this one on Valentine's Day too because where did I get this? You got this one at yeah, uh, EB Games. Records? EB Games. Because you went to Sunrise Records, got right. the right. Right. Sleep Lone Stitch, Sleep Lone and then went Stitch. across the And then we went the hall, across the way to EB Games, and I was like, oh no, now I have to get this one today too. This one's neat. And again. And you have to know, like, I try to get them on sale, because sometimes you can, but then sometimes I don't care. And the, uh, Lilo and Stitch was I don't care. This one was an I don't care. I'm getting it for sure. The Dumbo and it. Timothy, when that one comes out, is an I don't care. I don't Which care. one? Who? Dumbo and Timothy. Dumbth yes. D Dumb Tim Dumbthy. Timothy. Timothy and Dumbo, and also Buzz and Woody. Buzz and Woody, they are I don't care. Well, I feel like those ones are going to go quick. Now yeah. that they're starting to make them neater and more detailed and stuff like that, I'm worried. than they even were, I'm worried. I'm people worried. are going to start to like them more. I feel like I was the only one getting them, and now... Maybe well, a couple more people might be getting. Okay, so again, Mickey and Minnie, beautiful. The boxes are really cute. It's for their 90 year, so you can't, you can't lose. It's yeah. a great souvenir. If they did all this for their 90th anniversary, think about what they're going to do for, for their 100th anniversary. I have no idea. So another winner. Okay. Full here, price. Here we have one that you might have even got full price. Let's see what it is. It Let's is see. Moana and... Full price. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Moana and Maui. what's the other guy's name? Maui. Maui. Okay, this one huh. is... I, I wish see. I could show you... I wish I had some kind of a scale to show you, but the and I do think I showed this in the last video, so I, I won't so. go on and about it. But it is a considerably heavier on the one side, which I love about them. So if it's bigger, it has more weight to it. Like they don't make it hollow. Substantial. Like no. some pops, they'll make them kind of hollow. Or some Somewhat other like toys, a bath right? toy, right? Other but different it's not that types bad of toys. Yeah. So this is very cool. So this is Moana and Maui, and again, you see the picture on the back. Very neat. And they're right to scale and beautifully done. Like so, so sweet. Yeah, for sure. I love it. Here we have, now here's another heavy one, but we think that one's heavier. We are, yeah, we, we can't decide. Jabba anyway. and Salacious okay. Crumbs. J Jabba and Salacious Crumbs. So, let's talk about this one, because in our first video, I said I was not going to get this one. Do you right, remember? I do. And I, I, I said, I don't know if I said I might, but I'm pretty sure I said I was not going to. There was a reason and for it. And there's a reason too. for it. Because I'm super duper sad that you can't see Java's head. Like, it's super annoying. Yeah, if he was just on the other side, you could see his head. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not intending on taking them out of the box. I'm not intending to do that. Because so the boxes are so me. nice, too. So he's looking at the label. You guys have to like look at it like this. Because if they had the Star Wars on the other side, you would probably be able to see him. I guess. Like, I don't know. But no. I'm happy that 
Funko made it big. I'm happy. I, I love the size of it. It's huge and it's heavy. Now, guys, I also want to mention a couple months later, you keep talking about this one, but I want to show you another one okay, where they kind of they changed, changed this up the box a, bit. a bit. So I wasn't going to get this one because I said I'm going to keep them in the box and it makes me sad that I can't see Jabba's head. However, we went to GameStop maybe two weeks ago and we found and their clearance sale. It was 50% oh, off clearance. I thought you were going to this one. Sorry. It was 50% off clearance and so it was $10. I think, or was it? It was, it was, I think it was 12. No, I think this one was 10. And it 10 was and then 50% so off? So I got it for five. So whatever clearance was, was 50. So I love it. I wanted it anyways. And yeah. so I'm just sad that you can't see top of his head. But for $5, it was a no brainer. And I'm telling you, it is so heavy. Like yeah, it's it, it is one of the heaviest ones, it I would is. say. And it's super cute. Whew. You know, now, who doesn't love Java? Transitioning from that one to this one, Mom, okay. keep that one up here for okay, a second. Okay, yeah. Because I know what you're do. after Sorry. we had mentioned this one, and we had yes. talked about this, and she said it wasn't a big deal, but it was, it was a bit of a, was a, yeah. a turn off from the, yeah, from the set. Yeah. Then the next Star Wars set that came out, they had moved the vinyl uh -huh. um, to the bottom, and now there was enough room to see their eyes Total up at the top. Total coincidence. So we don't know, Funko. If you're no, watching, they uh, did you not. guys know my email if you guys want to let me know. They if this did is not our fault. do that because of us, um, but we're I'll super happy that they did it. I'll take for it. It was my idea, but they totally changed it up. Now, we don't and know if that's so, because of no, this, not being no. able to see it, but... Um, we know it's not. It is a great set, Maybe though. someone else mentioned it. I don't think maybe. it was because of us. So this one is, you know, or if you don't know, I'll tell you now, Chewbacca's my absolute favorite Star Wars character. Love, love, love him. So I had to get the Chewbacca and C-3PO. I, I wish it was Chewbacca and Han. Han Solo, because I feel like they're best friends. Best friends. And I feel like they should have been in a box together, but I'm okay with it because I got... Han Solo in a different box. Well, this one goes with the Cloud City set. Do you remember how these two kind of mm -hmm. traveled around yeah, yeah. the entire yeah. time on True. Cloud City? So this is a lovely so. one. And this one was um, one of the ones I got at ThinkGeek. So it was $10. Right, yeah. $10 the guy, was think, very the guy fair. The ThinkGeek was super nice, too. Super nice. And that's a very fair deal. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing next? Here, ooh, here we go. Okay, this is a recent acquisition as well. Dustin and Steve. This one was $7.50. The word of the day. Yeah. Acquisition. Acquisition. So this one we got again at GameStop. Yes. It was fifteen dollars, fifty percent off. So it was seven fifty. Yeah, we. And that's a win. We seem to wait on these ones, and because vinyls don't yeah. sell the quickest, depends they on the Sometimes vinyl. we'll put it on yeah. sale. Depends. Um, and then we get it to snipe it fifty percent off after that. So, so some of the really vinyls I'm deal. willing to wait for, but some of them I'm not. I would right. have to buy like. Uh, Moana. Right? Yeah, Moana yeah, right, yeah, away. Yeah, right away. Or Wreck-It Ralph. And Wreck -It that Ralph, yeah. yeah. There's a no-brainers. Then, And I'm sure everyone's different. Maybe the one that someone else is willing to pay full price for is this one. And well, they could sure. wait on Moana, right? If you guys so love the Stranger Things preference. set. But Perfect. sometimes I feel like the ones that you want to wait around on won't be around later I on. know. That's, that's the problem. problem. Yes. Uh -huh. is, ah, jinx. We, did, okay. we did that twice now in two, no, a couple videos. Sadness. Next up, we have the Royal Tannenbaum. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Seriously? Not only... Did I purchase this for full price? More than price. I paid more than full price for this one because I absolutely love this yeah, one. Yeah. I love it. I love that Wilson guy. Is that Luke Wilson? It's not Owen. Owen it's is Owen Wilson. No, it's Luke. Luke. Kachow. It's not him. No, it's no, Luke. It's Luke Wilson. He's my favorite. Owen I love Wilson's him. brother. Yeah, Owen like Wilson's that. brother. Luke Wilson, who's also very famous, just so you know. Sure. He's in the Royal Tannenbaums with Margot, and Margot is played by um, Gwyneth Paltrow. It's a great movie. Oh my gosh. And so when I saw this, we were at Toy Tokyo two, two weeks ago. Or yep. a week and and when we were in New York. In New York. And I was thinking I might get a vinyl. I didn't have a lot of suitcase room because Tristan had all the stuff that he was getting. And so I was like, okay, I'll just look at one. Maybe I'll get one vinyl because they do have some special ones. Plus, the other one that was, ones. was a little bit more, um, and I think you. What could was the find other one? The other one was the one from the little from that Saturday morning show. Um, what's that one with the race? Remember? Wacky Racers. Wacky they had racers. Muttley and. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't what know. What was the guy's name? I don't know. Oh, I can't think of it. Anyways, that one was okay for me. It was more expensive than this one. This one was forty dollars. But I'm not not sad, not even 1%. It no. is my current favorite right now. I just absolutely love it. It's a, it's a quirky movie with quirky characters, and I love the colors. I love everything about it. Do you see what it's limited to? No. It is limited to 2,900 pieces. Like, no why do they do that? There's know. probably some significance no to go sure, with the movie. To the movie. Yes. Um, and I am re-watching the movie because of it, so there you go. I, I really feel like Funko picks good things to make their characters out of. So if you almost want to go and then go, oh yeah, I should watch that again. Because you know what? If they think it's yeah. cool, it's probably cool. So anyways, love this one. Number Kinda one like how we started watching the Jeffersons after they made the pops Yes, it's that. like we, we've got a renewed interest in it. Well, it's know? weird. We saw the Jefferson pops yeah. and then all of a sudden it popped up on TV again. Yeah, that it's on. So weird. 
Okay, guys, so next up, we have one that was one of those ones that I went out and bought right. um, for cheap, but it is the Dark Side and Martian Manhunter. Okay, so another example of one I don't know anything about, Zero Zilch, but again, if I want it, I can have it. They are cool DC characters they as well. They are cool DC, and I love the box. The art on the back is super cool. It's the actual figures in, like, the older cartoons. Yeah. I'm and I don't it. feel like we were taking it from anyone who really wanted it. I believe you got it on sale, so, you know, fair enough. It had been there for a while. We find it's... it, I do see it a fair bit at GameStop if you need it. I have seen it on the, the clearance. Yeah, for pretty GameStop, cheap. So. There you go. Neat. And that was very thoughtful of you to get that for me. Well, I think I got you that one, and then I got you the... Thoughtful. The other one, because I knew you weren't going to buy them, but you were trying to get lots right. of them. Right, I am trying to get lots of them. So... And I've succeeded. Almost all of them, actually. I've succeeded. Not Ooh. almost. Mm, there's a few I don't have. Oh, okay. Shape of water. If you're following me on Instagram, you'll see that I uh, posted a picture that Tristan did for me. I or say, did you edit do. that? I did not oh. edit that. I don't know how to. I just the only thing I know how to do is put Instagram filters on. That's right. pretty much it. And I can crop some. So, anyways, this one again. Here's another example of one where I hadn't seen the movie, but the the characters were so beautiful right. that I absolutely had to get this one. They're my favorite colors, all those shades of blue, and it was a beautiful, all the a shades beautiful, of water. Sorry. Yeah, but all like it's it, they're beautiful characters, and so I did do a little research and I did watch the trailer from the movie, and I might watch the movie. The movie seems kind of sad, so I'm not sure I'm going to watch it because I don't, I don't really watch that. It movie. was critically acclaimed too. I agree, but I, it might be sad for me. But I'm so glad I got it because I think it's a great story, and I think it's a really neat um, two pack. I'm All not right. sad. Well, and this one was ten dollars as well at Think. You got on this little uh, third one. sad kick there. Well, so let's go I don't on, like a, sad on a happier note, and let's go it. with uh, Buddy the Elf and Mr. Narwhal. Oh, classic. Bye, classic. buddy. Hope we have a few of the set. I believe we have three. Well, what happened was I wanted this one, and I bought it. But right. I hadn't put it in the video though. No. And then so everybody was like, "Well, if Top Pops wants another Loves Mr. It. Narwhal, yeah. so I got four that year. We glittered one yeah. of them. I gave one to her." Uh, and then I've got couple, two. I think yeah. you've got two downstairs, yeah, maybe. A lot. But we know. love them, so we're not giving so any of them Thank you guys so much. We're for not, we're not getting these. rid of them. No. But yeah, still really awesome. Uh, yeah. What do we got here? We have... And another ooh. Christmas set, so we love. You know what this one is? Ooh, I don't. 3,000 pieces. Can you guess if it's 3,000 pieces? Oh, is it Yummy Mummy no. and Fruit Fruit? No, 20th anniversary. Funko's 20th anniversary. Oh, yeah, love, love, love. Freddie that. Funko. Love, love, love. Now, here's an example of why Tristan's a pretty good kid. So he had this one, and he gave it to me. Well, what happened was is that I had these in the collection, and I needed room for Pops, but I also knew that she was collecting these, so oh, I decided... and this one has tape on the box. Yeah, they did tape Ooh. the box, but we cut the bottom. We did, but that's sort of sad that it has tape I on know. the box. That's so you can't take older. this one out. Is this older? It, it's new. Well, it's their 20th anniversary, which was 20. And uh, okay, it has a picture year. of the Funko shop on it of the headquarters. The Funko HQ. HQ. So it can't be that old. No, it's from last year because it's their 20th anniversary was last year. Right. Okay. And finals and, were like getting oh, big last year. I love this one because I love Freddie Funko. Well, I like the helmet on the space. And thing. I love people with space helmets on. I don't know what it is about goldfish bowl space helmets, but I absolutely love well, them. Astro this is a win. Win, Buzz win, win. Lightyear, win. Freddie Funko. Love. Bunch of great For ones. real. Love it. Yeah. I also love fish out of water. Remember from uh Oh um, from uh Yeah, Chicken yeah. Little. Now, Rye, this one, the, this one the box is Chicken Little. <laughs> You'll like that. This one isn't in the best condition. Oh, it's not. It's but, okay. Um, it's I'm still okay. yummy mummy and fruit. And food. I don't know if it came that way or if it happened downstairs. Mm. What do you think? Maybe mm. could have happened in the craft room. Could have been the craft so. room uh, casualty. This one this is one that Tristan made me order from the Funko Well, because I knew she'd be sad later on if yeah, she didn't order. He's right. And I think it's worth quite a bit. No, you know which one is, is uh, Count Chocula. And I and don't Fruit have Fruit. that one, and it's on my list. 40 it bucks. It's on my list. It's real expensive, I know. 40. You know where it does have it for pretty cheap is Gorlock's Garage for 40 okay. bucks. So if I... you want to... Gorlock's Garage, if you want to... Uh, it's on my list. Help Gorlock's us out here. Garage. But whatever, I'll, I'll work on it. And so anyways, this one is a cute one because it's yummy... Mummy, Mummy and Fruit Brute. Now, I don't remember these cereals, these are but cereals. I can super appreciate how stinking cute this well, one is. I feel like these even could have been before they yeah. did um, Count Chocula, Boo Berry, and Frankie it's Berry. It's a summer eight. No, it's just from last year. Summer no, no, no. Eight, I mean the eight. actual cereals. Okay. Like maybe they were um, before. And I time. just want to say, yes, Tristan did sort of tell me you better get this one. And I'm not sad that you did because it's actually super cute. No, I remember. This was I one of those it. ones where it was a sale time. So I think it was like. Yeah, you were like, those, oh, like, you're going to be sad off. if you don't get this. And so I did. And I, I love it. I yeah. Love it. And it was an exclusive yeah. one exclusive yeah. to the Funko shop. So eventually and it is going to go away. Okay, guys. So one that we have here is pretty neat. Now, this is Batman and. 
Wonder, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Again, so this the, is now the I second have Wonder two, Woman. I have two Wonder Women. Can I call them Wonder Women or Wonder, Wonder Woman? Guys, put sure. in the comment section below. If you're this far into the video, is it <laughs> yes. Wonder Woman's or Wonder Woman? A, A, thank you for being this far into the video. <laughs> Seriously. We are almost and, about 40 minutes in, but who cares? Uh, if I you love guys, it. I love you know it. What? It's a good video. It is. And you know what? Bring if, up the ad If you're not sure if I you mean, like vinyls, now you're going to love them. I'm telling you. She's cute, I think. That I like the bombshell one better. You know what I like about these two? It's like they just had a fight in the car. Well, this it's like they just got out of the car. This and is like, to go with the um, Justice League, so they're all kind of angry in this movie okay. as it is. Uh, are they mad at um, each other or just angry? Everybody. In I don't know. So anyway, I love their faces. I love how they're like kind of having a little spat about whatever. Super cute. Yeah, love it. Do I maybe love the other Wonder Woman better? That's part of the bombshell. Maybe, but I love this one and I had to get set. This set I got from. Amazon just right. last week. But I do like how this goes with people. So we have Gal Gadot and Batflex. So it's like you kind of know the people as well and they're right. not just like cartoons. Right. Which there's no real person to go with it. I mean no. besides the voice actor yeah, or love actress. Them. Love them. Um, but yeah, still really neat. It's a win-win. Yeah, here's one that you just recently took a photo of on your Instagram. Ooh. She brought this one to work to take a I photo did. with. I thought this was okay, a little Okay, I'm going to tell you the story. It's, we can show them. It's um, Mary, Poppins. Mary Poppins. And so I wanted to take it with the book. Mary Poppins. And I thought we had the book in our library, but right. we didn't. No. So then I was like, oh, what am I going to take a picture of? I brought this snow. with me to work today to take a picture of it. So I went outside and I took a picture of it in the snow. And I don't think That's that was That's not terrible. that. No, it was a good I photo. I just thought, likes. well, she texted me and was like, hey, I took this photo. Go like it on Instagram. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, wait, are you at home? No. You're not at work? She goes, no. I'm like, well, how'd you take the photo? I took it right now. And I'm like, wait, no, how'd you take the photo? She's outside. Like, it's outside, outside at work. And I'm outside. like, oh, okay. So I had hoped to have the book. It would have been neat to have yeah. the book behind it. And I was going to have the two characters in the front, but we didn't have the book in our library. So I did what I could. It's neat. Love it. From the new movie, Mary Poppins Return. This is another one where as soon as I saw it, I bought yeah, it. Yeah, so there's a list from EB Games. I'm noticing a lot of the Disney ones you're getting right away. Well, and I do have a little concern, like you said, like if you hesitate, they don't get a lot of I don't ever in. see this one anywhere. No. I think I saw it after maybe one place, like, uh, what do you call, Hot Topic. But maybe. still, like, what? not many no, places. No. So I'm not going to hesitate. If I love it, I'm just getting it. I won't hesitate. And you know what? Sorry. They're reasonably priced. It's not like I'm, it's a $200 item and I'm deciding whether to get it. Right. If it's $15 or $17, I'm, I'm okay. Like, it's not like some really expensive, like, say, hot toy or something. It's not a hot toy. For, like, it's, it's hot because it's... It's a hot it's toy. Hot. It's not a hot it's toy. It's not a hot toy. That's right. Okay, guys, here we have Quick Draw McGraw and Baba Louie. Oh, okay. Again, Funko Shop exclusive. I think I told you to buy this one. But or I maybe love... you wanted this one and I, I told you to throw one. the other one. I wanted this one. Yeah. And, and it was on sale. And it was from the Funko Shop. Uh, very cool set. I do like the uh, sombrero on it. Hanna Barbera hats, is actually. always the best. The you can't well. beat Hanna Barbera. There's the back. Everybody that knows, anybody that watched Saturday Morning Cartoons loves Hanna Barbera. Yeah, for sure. So it's a no brainer. It's a good set. And again, we showed this one, I think, in the other yeah, question we did. video. Uh, let's do this one. Now, this one here. is a this brand is... new one. This is actually your profile picture on Instagram. Yes, and you know, if you watch the first video, you know that I wanted this one. I've been looking for this one. This for a was good one price because we knew find. it was going to kind of go down. We, we weren't sure, and well, we've been looking around for it, but it wasn't really um, showing up. No, it wasn't. And so I ended up just ordering it on Amazon, and it was a good deal on Amazon. I'm going to say it was ten dollars or under. Yeah, not bad. Seven or something. It was a great deal because I really love. Again, we love Stranger Things. I love Eleven and. Barb looks like me for sure with those glasses. I love Barb, hmm. right? Yeah, so right. that was a winner for me. Poor Barb. Just, justice for so Barb. Good. Yeah, we don't want to tell the story, but poor Barb. And so there you go. And I mean, I if you haven't it. seen the show by now, what have you well, been doing? Well, no, okay, but still. And their glasses, how they like stick off her face. They're so adorable. Yeah, they're neat. It's a great set. Very, and full of detail, like honestly. Well, when you look at them, they're all, they seem to be holding something in a lot of these as well. Yeah, you're right. They've all got like a prop or something. Yeah. Or something going like some on. of them don't, but at least their hands are doing something different. Okay. Did you notice that all of their bodies are kind of triangular shaped? No. Like that's kind of like a thing with oh, see. Anyways, we've got here Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. Now this, I feel like this was a good one. This was like Yeah, a, we could like have got this when we were at the convention, but then we decided just to get the other one because of, uh, you know, suitcase, suitcase room. space. Yes. Because uh, mm -hmm. we did get a lot of pops that time. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I didn't have a lot of room. <laughs> it was not for me to put the stuff in. Anyways, he had to buy two suitcases, but anyways, it's a different story. Disney store, so, good suitcase. Yeah. So this one is Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. 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 And and to Murgatroyd. I love this one. And this is this is a fall convention. So this was New York Comic Con? Fall convention. Yeah, this was. 3, I remember pieces. you were tossed up between that one or the other one and then... Yeah. Uh, I, d I couldn't decide. Yeah, and this one was a Funko Shop exclusive though. 
Right? Yeah, so That's I told you to order went. that one while we were there. Which, yeah, because we knew uh, it was still up. You said, well, I know for sure you can get that on the Funko shop. So yeah, so I ordered we ordered it. it while we were there. I do yeah. love that Huckleberry Hound. That was Come so on. Neat. It's adorable. It's almost like Funko's like character besides Freddy because of the yeah, Freddy Funko shop. I agree. And you know what? I, like I love the colors. Like, look at that box. Yeah, they look Seriously, great. Seriously, it's fabulous. Okay, now we've got one yeah. more, and then we want to talk about pops that are, or vinyls that are coming and vinyls that we want to see. Oh, which one is it? Do you know? No. Do you want to take a guess? Mm. You, want, you want me to give me a hint? Yes. Star Wars. Oh, I know what it is. It's Lando Calrissian and Han, Han Solo. Solo. Which is a good one. This and is to go I, with um, the Solo. Did movie. I just get this recently? Yes. I don't remember where. It's a, uh, yeah, you bought that at, uh, you got the, wasn't that one online? You got that one online? Possibly. Amazon? That would have been my third this one. Be, this on is Amazon, Donald Glover I got this three. Too, which is neat. Yeah. And I love Lando Calrissian yeah, and Han Solo. I, again, I told you I wish that Han Solo was with Chewie, but now I can put them together if I want to because I have both. Well, I feel like there wasn't another person to put Lando Calrissian with. Right. So they did this because they already have a Chewie. And I there. actually love that movie. I love that Solo it was a good movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. I love that Chewie was wearing those those goggles. That was like my favorite thing. And that was a great, great movie. I enjoyed that. I think a neat one to do could be um, Han Solo and Chewbacca chained by the leg mm, in yes. these two. They did it as a pop. So The I thing is, Chewbacca a... in that movie is so tall. He's yeah, so they, big they make that. him seem taller in that movie even. I know, like when he was down in that part in the bottom and he was like kind of just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, he's and kind so of angry was, too. They, they want to probably make him look scarier too. He was. I was scared. I didn't even realize that that was him. I thought it was just a Wookiee. But anyways, uh, so a uh, great, great set. Yeah. Not sad about any of these. I'm going to guess I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would say eight, 35, uh, 12, 36, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I believe I have 33. 33. That's 33 not bad. Sets. I believe overall it's, there's only about 45 to I'm 50, sure. something like that. that. So know. it's not that many more. Am I embarrassed that I've collected all of these since last September 1st or that weekend? Yeah, I'm but the problem is though they're not that expensive. People they're not think that like, expensive. oh, you've got no. so many, but it's like no. it's cheaper than a pop. We're getting it's them for for two. So for two, I'm getting yeah. them cheaper than a pop. And really, I just again, I can't tell you how much I like them because yeah, I no, them. no, they're great. And I don't know always the story behind them, but if I like the box or I like the character or, yeah. I, or we, you got it for me as a nice surprise, like you know. Well, that's sometimes great. I'll get the ones I know you're not going to per se pick up, but then later yeah. on you do like them sometimes. I always and do, yeah. and they're very colorful. You never worry about them being no, boring because none of them are boring. Okay, so what are some vinyls? We would, well, first of all, what are we anticipating? What are we well, waiting for? Uh, we want the Buzz and Woody. Buzz and Woody. Dumbo. Dumbo and the whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, Timothy. Timothy. Cheech and Chong. And you Cheech want. and Chong. Those three. Um, right away. There's also Alien and Ridley. Yeah, I, I might get that one because I like that, that one. I like how Alien doesn't that. really look like a vinyl. As yeah, well. I like that one. Um, so there's four that we I like. I think that's it though for the new that are ones coming. that we can think of. I don't oh, know any. the Wizard of Oz set, the other set of that one. Oh, right. So that's neat. And we said Buzz and Woody. Cowardly Lion. Yeah, I did. Cowardly Lion and then Tin Man. Okay. But some final figures that you want to see sets. come soon. Come soon. Now, I do want to say one. Now that we, we have the all office, the time. I oh! want to see Dwight and Michael yes, and Jim and list. Pam. For sure on my list. Jim and Pam, Dwight I and... I think Dwight and Michael would be more interesting. Yes. Because Jim and Pam's, you know, just like, they're just kind of standing there. Yeah, I, I feel Dwight like Michael Dwight would be could really have a, a multitude of outfits on. I would For like sure. Michael... Some sort of mustard. I shirt. would like it when he burnt his foot in the George, George Foreman grill. grill. That would be, if you could like wrap, like bubble wrap around his foot, that'd be, neat. That'd be classic. And then when Dwight uh, threw up all the car because he had a concussion. I don't know how you could that, throw, do the throw I up, don't know, but, but that would the, be something they should I could see on. him with the world's best boss mug and then yes. Dwight, you know, writing something but down But with the stuff whatever. on his foot. He's got to yeah, yeah. have the bubble wrap on his foot. That is That's crucial neat. to the story. Okay, so that one I want to see. I also want to see Mork and Mindy. Mork and, and I keep Mindy. saying these, but I want Mork and Mindy. It's a great Who's going to watch this far into it? Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. I also want Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. And I think the Fawns and Richie Cunningham. That would be neat. That would be neat. I could see that one. Right? I That's want SpongeBob classic. and Patrick. He does. Want SpongeBob that one's a neat Patrick. one. That would be an interesting shape because they all sort of have this big head. And I don't know but how SpongeBob they would do. Nor Patrick would really have that. I know. Well, SpongeBob, big head more than Patrick. Right. Patrick's like the other way. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I can't think. Um, anyone else? Uh, Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Oh my God, yes. And, and from Toy Story, I want. Mike and Sully. From Toy Story? What are they from? Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. I want Mike and Sully. Mike and Sully would be neat. Um, yes! I, I can see them big doing... Big and a, little. It would be hilarious. I can see them doing even a boo in the middle. 
Because there's no well, other way you can do boo if they're in gonna that. give a bonus well, one. Well, because yes, I, was, I want it. If kitty, I really dig kitty. into it with uh, SpongeBob, they could do Mr. Krab, Squidward, and then Plankton in the middle. Yeah, he's so um, good. Though, because Plankton's so small, like I don't think they could do a full one because that's okay. your, you know, you're jipping them. Yep. Um, another one that I could see is Chief Chirpa and Wicket from Star Wars. Okay. The two Ewoks. Yep. yep. They do have a um, lot of Star Wars ones, I have to say. R two D two and BB eight. R two D two, BB eight. Oh, maybe. I'm I not, could see that. I'm not loving that one. Um, okay. What about like a Spider? -Man? Oh, they have some Iron Spider and they Thanos. Do. That one's they neat. Do. And then what's the one I'm thinking about getting? I put on Instagram hey, Crunch, yesterday. Crunchberry Beast and Captain Crunch are coming soon too. Okay, so you might I want to get those that ones. One. I was thinking of you know what that guy, the Aquaman guy, and then um, the boy, the one, the Manta guy. Black Manta. Black and Manta. Okay. Right. So I don't know anything about this Black well, Manta. Well, let's explain this He's too. He's a bad guy. Black Manta is the the bad guy in but the movie, the villain. I saw a, a little kid at recess yesterday had this toy of this Black Manta. But you're not giving away the Black Manta. No, I'm not giving it away, but I'm saying it was actually very interesting. I was asking all kinds of questions about oh, Black Manta. Because oh, I'm like, oh, I'm sort of interested in that toy. Tell me a little more about it. Turns out he's a bad guy, but his the, this sculpt the on his is, toy was gorgeous. It's huge. Yeah, it gave like a very, big head. So I'm not Maybe opposed no to that now. one. Now I'm thinking about it. It's on my list. What about like Hulk and someone? A Hulk and Iron Man would okay. be neat. Yeah, um, Iron Man's cool. Another Batman and more. Robin, maybe to go with the 1966 version. Yes, would I would neat. like. Or what about Batman and Catwoman? Or Batman and Batwoman? Or Batgirl? Batgirl or would be neat. Or I'm Ernie and also, Bert. We haven't had Ernie and Bert. You should get the Rick and Morty one. I really do think mm, you should. I don't watch a show. And I, I, I'm not saying I, I don't. And I do get ones I don't watch. I can call Rye right now and he can convert you to yeah, get by the Rick I'm and Morty one. I'm not thinking about that one. How, what about, I'm oh, I just saw the one and now I forgot what it was. What about Jack, Jack and Edna? Yeah, any Incredibles. We have no Incredibles. Sorry, I'm looking around here. Right? Oh, ooh, Gravity Falls, Mabel, and Dipper. Sure, I don't watch it. Phineas and I'm Ferb. Trusting, yes, Phineas and Ferb I would like. Uh, Steve sure. and Alex from Minecraft. Maybe. That one I was a toss up. I don't uh, know that one. Oh, what about um, Star-Lord and Raccoon, the Rocket? Well, I think it'd be Groot and Rocket, if anything. Yeah, I agree. I like Groot. That'd be a neat one. I would like that one. Now, they do have Fortnite ones as well, and I don't think they're going to be making any more of those ones, but they do have mm. I do like the Rex one that looks and like Triceratops that. and Cuddle Team Leader and Love Ranger, yeah, so those are neat. Yeah, looks like a dinosaur. Uh, maybe Overwatch one would be neat. Because they could do some pretty cool figures with that. Okay. I want to see... You ready for this one? No. Nope. Kermit and Miss Piggy. <gasps> yes, write that down. Elmo. Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yeah. Elmo and... Mr. Noodle. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Elmo and... What about Elmo and Cookie Monster? Uh, yeah, that's not and bad. And Ernie and Bert. Did we say that one yet? No, Ernie and Bert would be Ernie good, but Bert's I feel like classic. they'd have to do a main character. Like, here's the thing. The sky's the limit with these because they are I'm looking at pairs. Right. They're duos, right? So you just have to think of two characters that would hang out right. together. And then, like, bing bang. Oh, that's another one I might get is Jack, the Cuphead one. I might get the Cuphead one. What about uh, Jack Skellington and Sally? You wanted that one. Yes, I'm thinking about that one. There's a bunch of that one Yeah. Um, from those sets. So I'm not, I'm not sad. Um, but would we like, um, what about Freddy what about, and uh, someone else? Hey, what, what about Leonard and Sheldon? Yes. Because they just made the new ones for the last season. Yeah, that would yeah, be neat. Yeah, that's true. I hope um, that there are more things coming. I'm looking around here. Sorry. Any any band ones? Any any like? Uh, like I'm trying to think of like two, Tenacious D. There's only two of them. Jack Black oh, and Jack his. Black and then See, the Jamblers. thing is, what are they yeah, called again? Uh, Jablinski Games. Jablinski Games. <laughs> the only thing is. I want to say Jack Black, like Tenacious D, because there's only really two of them in the band. Right. So the two of them would be perfect. Perfect. I can see them doing Queen though. Is how many are in that band? Well, four. Well, that doesn't go. You'd have or to five. Pick just two. You'd five. Have to pick I just, think it's four or five. I, don't, I have no Ooh. idea. But you'd have to pick just two. Right. What about the Target Dog and. The problem is there's nothing to go with Target Dog. Something else. I don't know. I don't know. That and was a tough shopping one. cart. Okay, shopping we have cart. to. We have to. All right, to, guys. To turn we're going to end this, this here. Way too this long. has been like almost an hour. hour. Come on. Okay, but um, we did have some interest. People were no, interested I know, in I know, I know. seeing them. And you can always stop watching. You don't have to watch it. What about this one? Thanos, but it's all six chrome ones. So they do two, 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 chrome, sure. chrome, chrome. How about Big Boy and Burger King? Big Boy, though. I don't or know. Or Ronald McDonald. Is there a Ronald McDonald one? There's not. Mm. Ronald McDonald pops Ronald McDonald. in the GameStop system. Now, all of a sudden, they've disappeared. Mm. I think there might have been something with that. It's not good. Um, but I could see maybe if they were doing, like, Twinkie the Kid and Ding Dong. Like, yes. Do like, Love I don't know it. if they would do competing companies. I don't know. I'm just worried. But, um, I really need them to continue to make I could see them do Vegeta... And like Goku, Who's maybe oh, from Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, yeah, yeah. All right, that could be right. neat. Okay. Um, Aang and Momo would be neat from uh, Avatar. What about something like um, that guy, the Stan Lee guy? They could do like oh, like Stanley and Spider Man. Yes. Or maybe Stanley and his different cameos. Right. Lots of choices. Sour Patch Kids. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna end okay, it there. End. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me if in the future, if you didn't, I'm really sorry. We, if we you guys went... got to this point, oh my gosh, I want you to put something in the comment section below like, saying I got to this point. No, 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 no. It's something specific. <laughs> okay, what? Jablinski games. Jabl comment, comment, yes. subscribe yes. to Jablinski games, Please. guys, in the comment section below. Then we'll below know you actually watched. If you guys made it to this you point, know. hey, Beetlejuice and. Uh, I don't know. What's the other person in there? I, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Guys, we were <laughs> trying to finish the video and the whole battery died. We went for so long. Um, we're taking the thumbnail right now. So, anyways, this has been another episode of Top Ops Popstars. Thanks for watching.